come on in, two sisters tell, gather round everyone. I have here my trusty magic gate box. Let's take a look inside, see what it has to show us today. Taurus. This is a general reading for Sun, Moon, Rising Venus, and North Node in Taurus. Take what resonates and leave out the rest. If you don't resonate with the reading, feel free to check out my other videos. You may have some messages there. Now without further ado, let's start the reading. I hope you had a good week and everything's been going well for you. I know you'll have a good weekend coming up. And I'm using the Anime Tarot. Page of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. The Eight of Cups. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Cups. And it can be King of Cups, too. Take it how it resonates. Okay. First, we're going to start with a Page of Wands. There's a message that's about to come through. And it's a message that you'll need to receive. It's a message that you've been needing to receive for a while now. And I'm being drawn to this number one on his shirt. So I'm, I'm picking up one or within one week to one month from now is when you should expect a, a message to come through. And I'm picking up with this hat that's off the coming off his head right here. It's going to be shocking news for you. And it's going to be something that is totally unexpected, but at the same time, it's something that you've been needing to receive. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles. I I'm picking up, this is a growth that's about to start happening, especially when with this week here. So it's the beginning of something um, 
tangible, something that you can feel, touch, or see type of thing. So in the practical sense, I mean, in the physical sense, you're, it's, it's going to start bl blooming and working out in your favor. And I'm also picking up, because this looks like a field right here to me, on this, these lines on here. So it's something that you've really been harvesting, metaphorically speaking, for quite a, some time now. And I'm also picking up somebody that could be watching this could also be a farmer. So this might resonate with you. So whenever it's time for you to start planning again, that's going to go well for you. I'm picking up somebody that might not done very well last year with their farming. But this year it's going to be more planning, planning, plentiful for you. So that's going to look good and work in your favor. See if there's anything else I'm getting before I move on to this next. And I'm also picking up, don't put yourself in a box. So I'm getting that from this too. So expand yourself and don't put all your eggs in one basket is what I'm picking up as well. So that way you can have more coming in. So don't just put it in one place. Have other forms of uh, revenue coming in from other endeavors. So let's say for, if, for whoever resonates for the farmer part, don't just have one particular crop that you grow or particular plant uh, vegetables or whatever it is that you're working on or that grew last year. This year, expand yourself. I'm picking up with this number here up to three different things. So if you only had one, add two more to that. At least have three different things to work with. But also, I'm picking up, don't just put it in just farming as well. So I'm picking up, you want to find at least two other endeavors to help back that up, to help you have something more to pull from. So see what else that you are able to to use your wits and your talents with is what I'm picking up. You only have the Eight of Cups. I'm picking up that many of you are wanting to walk away from a, this, uh, either farming or whatever endeavor that you were working on because it didn't do well. And you might have even been thinking about walking away from it and not doing it this year. But I'm picking up it would be in your best favor if, if you don't do that, which you have your own free will. This is just the advice. But if you do things differently this time, especially not putting it all in one basket, it would work better in your favor. I'm also picking up if more times than not, most people already use that. But if you don't, I'm picking up that I need to speak up on. If you don't already be, haven't already been using the farmer's almanac, to go ahead and start doing that this time. That would work out in your favor. And then we have the three of cups. So you're going to have much to celebrate by going ahead and sticking this out. So I'm picking up, there's more of a specific message in this reading. So this is going to be more, I'm picking up more for someone who's farming at this time or that and thinking about walking away from it because it didn't do well for you. But I will see if there's anything else I'm picking up other than that before moving on to the Oracle. But you're going to have much to celebrate. You'll be celebrating that you did not go ahead and walk off if you take this advice. And things will work out more in your favor. And your cups will be fulfilled or filled up. I'm also picking up rain of some sort. So it's going to rain down. So it's, maybe there was a drought and you couldn't do much farming due to that. And it didn't work out. But I'm picking up there's going to be uh, the the environment's going to work more in your favor this time as well. Just don't just work with just one thing though. Again, that would help. And then we have the queen of cups and it can be king of cups too. Take it however it resonates. I'm picking it up. This could be a, a, a love interest for you, whether it's a queen or king. So this definitely, is, I'm not picking up. This is your energy. This is someone else's energy. But take it how it resonates, whether it's a king or queen. I'm picking up as someone you've had your eye on for quite some time now. And that they would make you happy.
and with these flowers that's on a branch here I'm also picking up don't be afraid to keep yourself open at this time don't take yourself off the market too hasty is what I'm picking up so if you're single already and not in an actual relationship to keep your mind your options open as in don't take the first offer see what's all out there is what I'm picking up so that way you do what's best for you because I'm picking up that it's best that you learn to take things in stride is what I'm picking up. So don't take the first offer that comes your way, even if you already have your eye on someone. I'm, I'm picking up it being your best favor if you go ahead and see what else might be out there first before you make your final decision of actually like entering into a relationship with someone. I'm going to see what I'm getting overall before I move on to the Oracle. See if there's anything else besides farming or whatnot that I picked up on. I'm also picking up that somebody might be interested in singing or something too. And maybe in the past it did not work out for you. For whatever reason. But I'm being guided to say not to walk away from that as well. Maybe that just because it didn't work out then don't mean it won't now. Maybe you just have to go back to the drawing board and see what you need to do to go back and figure out what it is that maybe there was something missing that you needed to see. I'm picking up going to me into meditation and, and seek the answers. And this also might be what this good news might be about as well for someone. It might be somebody that could be of great use to you that would help you to get yourself on the right track and also for the one that resonated with the farming also picking up that would be good news that's going to help you forward too that so it might be someone who's more experienced in farming for instance and you were that can actually help you an elder of some sort even though this is a page this is also about messages so don't mean that they just represent a page just a message coming through for you let's see if there's anything else i'm getting before i move on to the oracle I'm also picking up somebody might be talented in uh, singing bowls. I think that's how you say that. So uh, maybe you might want to get back into that. That would be well for you. Let's see. I'm picking up with this fence right here too. Maybe, let me see what I'm getting from that exactly. I'm uh, picking up don't cage yourself in so make sure that you don't put yourself again I'm getting that box again don't put yourself in just one place give yourself different endeavors so no matter what it is that you resonate with with this reading don't just put your eggs all in one basket that it keeps coming back to me so somebody might have been just put too much in one basket so do other endeavors so that way something will pan out and then eventually the other two will as well is what I'm picking up too. Just at least if you go ahead and put up to three things going, something will start working out for you. And you can start really seeing that Ace of Pentacles really start showing through. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the Oracle now. And, um, oh, the first time I, I, I'm picking up something else, I need to go and then I'll move on to that. Also, something about Jeweler. So, maybe you've worked at a jewelry shop, or you own one, are you thinking about it? And this would be a good idea to talk to the right persons when I'm picking up that would help you with that. And that help will come through. Confirmation with the train horn. Okay, I'm going to move on to the oracle now. I'm going to move on to the uh, psychic tarot. I'm also picking up the reason why you might want to open up the possibility of thinking of someone else if you already have someone in mind, for example. This might not be the right person for you. Not saying that the person is bad or not a good person. It just means they're not necessarily a good person for you. So don't just keep your mind on just one person if you're not already in a relationship, for instance. 
see what else there is first because and 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 date don't just go hopping right into straight into a relationship date a bit and keep your options open in that way so that way you can see what it is that's best for you is what i'm, I'm picking up on right now i'm also picking up with this on his knees here somebody might be great at skating too and maybe you might want to get back into that if you, if you have it I'm also getting with that number one on his, on his shirt that you're really great at it. Maybe even gotten were in competitions with that. I'm picking up speed skating, so that would be I'm picking up you were great at and you would be great at it again if you're of course you know you know if your body able or not, and that this would be something that you would pick back up so. That might be another thing you might want to look into. It's one of the endeavors you'd be great at. Stand your ground. So, and the number seven. picking up one to seven business days so of a, a message coming through for somebody too so it's not obviously not going to be on a weekend so don't expect them on a weekend we have heart uh, heartache and loss okay especially what I was picking up here before I get any more cards okay and this is number three okay and also with number seven is represents the chariot and this represents the empress and empress you know represents your your energy taurus and, and libra and then that cancer and then that that just clarifies that it could be a cancer you're connected to but it doesn't have to be but anyway or that you're got your eye on i'm picking it with this heartache and loss this is more reason why i feel this is a backing up of why you don't need to just be hasty about hurrying up and getting in a relationship I'm picking up you still trying to mend your broken heart from previous relationships and you don't want to go into straight into a relationship too soon before healing finish healing because you may be just don't want to be alone so and this is picking up again so if this resonate this part resonates with you you might want to check out the the last Taurus reading that I that I did for this last Taurus yeah, so you might want to check that out if this part resonates with you. But even if it's not because you're afraid of being alone or abandonment issues or anything, it's it's best that you fix the wounded your your broken heart before entering into a new relationship, so you don't bring any old baggage in. So that way, it doesn't make cause uh, problems and this in, into a new relationship. So right now, just keep your options open. You can just go on a, you can let whoever, you, this person or along with anybody else that you see or you know, on a date, let them know you're just wanting to just keep your options open. Be honest about it and that you're just trying to just date right now. But even before you get into the dating, it's best you work on yourself first. But when you finally do the work, be open to just keeping your options open and date and just dating just to getting to know people and then just go from there especially if you're not in a relationship i mean it's just dating it's you know you don't mean you have to go doing things certain things with 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 people at the same time or anything i don't mean that just on a casual date where it doesn't go anywhere like that just like kind of like dating as friends and getting to know somebody so do that sort of thing so before you just head it, go head first into something. So that way, it'll be done through the right for the right reasons. That's what I'm picking up. So I'm gonna get another card now. I'm also picking up something else too. You might be broken hearted because maybe you're you're interested in somebody that might not be interested in you, and if that's the case. 
there are other people out there. Don't beat yourself up over somebody that might not be interested in you. Everybody has a right to decide if they want to be with you or not. So, if they're not interested in you, do yourself a favor and allow yourself to be free to accept that it, get to know other people out there because there's somebody that's going to want to be with you as well. You don't want just something that's one-sided because then that's not going to be good for you or the other person, but it, it but this is your reading. So just look at it this way. Wouldn't you rather have somebody that actually reciprocates what you, your feelings that you have? Don't just settle for what just because you feel like that's what you want don't mean doesn't mean that you should just keep trying to pursue something that's not meant for you for instance or just only having eyes for that certain person apparently they're either not your for you obviously and that you can either do better or there is something better for you they obviously can't see your value or your worth or it's just because you're just not compatible just because you feel drawn to somebody doesn't mean that it's meant for you. So just keep your options open. There are other people and you might be surprised how the someone else might actually be more for you and you'd be happier with because for one thing, they will reciprocate it back. You want someone that will reciprocate that back. That's just one thing I'm picking up. Take it how it resonates. Just take what resonates and leave out the rest. Don't, you know, every, this is a general, still a general, reading obviously not a personal so take what parts of the reading fits for you and resonates so anyway that's for a select few and also i'm being pulled to this right here solar plexus chakra so you need to work on that so maybe you need to work on your confidence too is what i'm picking up so that would be another good reason because that you want to work on your heart break maybe somebody hurt you because they didn't want you in the past even if it's not right now that this happened and it might have been in the past that can be enough to obviously do something on your self-esteem so work on yourself so you can build that back up again because just because somebody else didn't want you doesn't mean there's nobody that doesn't want you it's just that person just wasn't interested it doesn't mean that anything's wrong with you or or anything like that it just means it just wasn't that person just wasn't meant for you so just work on your self-esteem and don't let it get to you and get you down and just really work on your confidence and give that love to yourself again if you're resonating with this parts too this still might be a message in there for you for the last Taurus reading I did you might want to check that out if you haven't already. Then we have firm foundation right underneath the eight of uh, cups. So you need to build a firm foundation when it comes to anything that you're working on, but also on yourself. So by working, doing the inner work and working on your self-worth and building your confidence, you'll do do well. Also working on all your chakras will help too. And this is the root chakra. So really take everything in and do some inner reflection. Get back to the source of who you are. So that way you can build that confidence you need. And to build that foundation, really focus on yourself at this time and, and not worry about dating and whatnot until you work on that and then when you do again keep your options open you do have your own free will to take the advice or not but that is the advice that's being brought in this reading i'm gonna get another card now And then there's four. That's also represents the emperor, too. So we got the empress and the emperor, the number four, both. So uh, it's fell on my lap. I'll go ahead and take that. But hold on. And that, that's positive movement forward in, in reverse. So we'll get to that in a minute. 
So with that being showing itself, by doing this work, you'll be able to connect to the person that you're meant to. That is your true match. Whether this person that you have your eye on or not is or isn't. That person, again, this, this seems to be picking up from the last Taurus reading. So you might really, if you haven't already watched that, because you know, you might have already watched that and now you're on this one. But if you have not watched that one, watch the last Taurus video or reading. Because that you have a, you should more than likely have a message there. But by letting go of any expectations and not just being fixed on somebody that may or may not. So I'm getting unrequited love too. So this might be an unrequited love type of situation. It's breaking your heart. So stop putting, I'm picking up, don't. Keep putting yourself out there for someone who's unavailable to you. So if it's not meant for you, let it go. It's okay to let it go. That does not mean that you're not good enough. It does not mean that you can't be lovable or loved. It just means that's not the right person for you. Whether it's a past person, the reason why you're like this, and you have your eye on someone else, or the person that you currently have your eye on. Take it however it resonates. But you have to see your own self-worth and value for someone else to see it. Because if you can't see it for yourself, more times than not, someone else can't. I mean, sometimes other people can see your worth and your value, even if you can't. But more times than not, unless you can see it, other people can't see it. And you'll only attract what you do not deserve. You'll tr keep attracting what you, less than what you deserve. So if you want more of what you deserve... You have to see that value and worth in yourself and build up your confidence again. Maybe even talking to a therapist or someone that can help you work on that. Maybe even there are, there are uh, life coaches you can work with too that can help you build yourself back up again and, and pick up the broken pieces. Of course, a life coach would be more on like the business part of it more and so. But there are some co there are relationship coaches too. So maybe you might do well with that. Pick it, find someone to talk to on that level. And then with this positive movement forward in reverse, I'm I'm picking up you're feeling stuck and stagnated, and I'm picking up it's more on the relationship level. I mean a little bit here because of what things that didn't work out for you in the past with that. But that might be another reason why this isn't working out because you're still stuck on this situation. So you need to work on that. And even if you're doing well with your with uh, when it comes to your career, if you're still not if you're still stuck when it comes to relationships from either someone on a, in the past or someone that you can't move on from that's not interested in you, then. That's, that can also start taking an effect on this as well, your career and or your job or work or whatever. So you need to work on that. And with this being the number eight right here, which can represent the eighth house, you really need to work on trans, uh, the transformation of transforming who you are. But you first have to release the negative, anything neg negative holding you back. So, allow yourself to do that inner work and that inner reflection so you can release that and transform into who you're meant to. So, you're, you're only holding yourself back from becoming who you truly meant to by staying fixated on one person either from the past or someone you currently might be into that might not be into you. And for the ones that that's not resonating with this part of the reading... Just building up your comp, maybe you're, you're, you have your mind on someone else, not on someone currently, but you'd like the confidence because of past relationships that might have hurt you in the past that caused you to have a low self esteem. So don't even, that's another reason why you want to work on yourself. Don't approach someone else. Another reason why it was, I was being drawn to say, date, don't just go straight into the first person that might offer you a cup or that you might be into and offer your cup to. Do the inner work and then 
don't go head first into another relationship and just date and get to know people. Mix and mingle. It might even be a good idea if you if you can to go on a double date and really get to know people on a more friendly level first to build that foundation. And then you'll have much to celebrate because of that. Because you'll actually have the right person for you by building that foundation first. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have movement choices, decisions. And by doing that, you'll have that movement coming back and more choices and decisions. So leave again, it's leave your options open when it comes to love. So if you're still needing to work on yourself, do that first. But once you get ready again and gotten past that and worked on your self-esteem and your confidence, which basically comes hand in hand, same difference. But anyway, then you'll have that movement forward with the, the, the seven one I'm picking up with the chariot. And with the number two being the high priestess, it'll help you be more in tune to your intuition this way too. And have that movement and make better decisions. Not only on a logical level, but on a uh, intuitive level. And make better choices and decisions for yourself. Now I'm going to see what I'm getting overall before I move on uh, or close out the reading. That's all I'm getting for the reading. So I hope this brought you some clarity and form in some form of uh, and helped you in some way. And be sure to turn on the notification bell so you know each time I upload a new video. And like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, God bless.